What's going on guys? So I'm sure at this point you've seen that I got my 22 Sierra and I told myself that I was going to enjoy it for a full week completely stock. Just enjoy it for seven days totally stock and then you can have all the fun in the world with it. Well, the week's almost over. I'm about ready to start modifying it and I've almost used my first full tank of fuel in it. So I figured we'd hop on here real quick, talk about how many miles I made it, what kind of MPG it's getting and uh, then we can start having fun with this thing. So let's go ahead and hop inside, talk about it real quick. Y'all probably saw that Tundra cruising up behind me in that first clip. I literally turned around. He was just right there. Kind of caught me off guard, but uh, he thought I was a realtor and he was trying to get some information and stuff. And I'm like, um, no, sir, not a realtor. Just a random YouTuber out here doing truck videos. So I figured some of y'all would want to see what cruising at 70 was with the 342s. So what was that like 16, 1650, 1700 RPMs probably? Not high at all. All right, so the GMC is rated at 15 city, 19 highway, 17 combined. And I got to thinking, I was like, well, let's look at the old window stickers on my previous truck. So if we look over here, my trail boss with a 6.2 and 323 gears has got the exact same fuel economy rating. But then if we go up here to my 2018 Silverado, which was a 5.3 with AFM and a six-speed transmission, it's rated at 16 city, 22 highway, 18 combined. Now, this one was definitely much less equipped than these two trucks, but... That is weird. That is really weird to me because I can confirm the newer trucks get better fuel economy for sure. How could they not? These have DFM, which is supposed to look a lot, work a lot better. They have auto stop start. They have a 10 speed transmission. Why in the world are they so much lower rated than the old school 18 with a 5.3 AFM and six speed? That doesn't make sense. That's weird. I feel like these are low ball numbers. That honestly, <laughs> I mean, I didn't have baby squat stock for very long, but um, I feel like those numbers should belong down here. These seem to be low balls, but that's so weird. Why in the world have they dropped so much fuel economy? Newer trucks, five years newer. Make it make sense. I got the truck brand new, right? Had eight miles on it when I picked it up. So nice rock ship. Just that sounded like it might've been underneath. Maybe it wasn't on the door. Nonetheless, did not sound good. Um, but I, I've driven this thing in pretty much every way you possibly could. And that means idling for long periods of time where I was picking up and dropping off Knox and Car Rider Line, um, driving these little back roads, which are very hilly, like 45 mile an hour roads, you know, going down, up, sweeping around, downshifting, all these kind of things. Um, normal, like back road cruising, 50, 55 miles an hour, actual cruising, which is gonna be good for your fuel efficiency. Um, interstate stuff some, uh, merging. Y'all have seen some of the videos where I've been romping on it. Uh, got at least two really, three, three really good accelerations. medium accelerations as well just getting onto roads pulling out in front of traffic that kind of thing i had some people yelling at me in another video where i romped on the truck like what what are you going to do you buy the truck you go get on the interstate and 18 wheeler is about to hit you so you need to floor it to get out of the way are you going to say no i don't think i'm going to floor it i think i'm going to let them hit me because the owner's manual supposedly says not to accelerate hard okay tesla yes tesla okay yes now me here i go the owner's manual says not to accelerate hard until after 500 miles. No, I'm going to freaking romp on it. Just like if you go to a dealership and a vehicle that you're looking at, which is, it's kind of rare now, I guess, because they just fly off a lot. But if you go in the past and, you know, maybe the vehicle has like 40, 50, 70 miles on it, something like that. Well, it's had multiple test drives. Dude, you think people are babying test drives? You think they're not getting in that thing and floorboarding it? No. Personally, I've owned enough new vehicles if it's gonna tear up, it's gonna tear up, just like my trail boss. <laughs> There's nothing to prevent that. That's just a, that's a factory thing, right? So I usually give it one, 200 miles of, of, of normal driving. And then after like 200 miles, dude, if I wanna romp on it, I'm gonna freaking vlog on it. I just drive it like I'm gonna drive it. It needs to learn to be expected to drive like I'm going to. Currently, right now, over the last 15 miles, we have averaged 18.5 miles per gallon, which has been like I said, all different kinds of driving from car rider line this morning to some interstate earlier to some of this to some of that that you just saw. So all over the place, but and now we're up to 18.6. So it's creeping up. Right when I got it, it was crazy. It said like 500 something miles till empty, which of course is 
it, the truck it had eight miles on it. it hadn't figured out its whole thing yet they kind of learn as they go but um i was blown away i was thinking because of the max trailer and package that it had a bigger fuel tank which i don't think is the case we'll see in just a minute when we fill it up um, i think it's going to be um the same 24 gallon tank that they all come with but with that being said let me slide on out in front of you sir thank you uh, we'll pull up to the gas station. I'll show you all, all my gauges, all my trip meters, how many miles we've actually driven the truck since buying it, and all that stuff. So let's get to the gas station and do it. All right, so let me show you all what we're working with right here. Like I said, this is the average of the last 50 miles, which you can change it to 25, 50, or I think 450. But that's our last drive, 18.1, 4.7 miles. Here's 416 miles, which is what the truck is currently at. So we were able to make it 416 miles on one tank of fuel, not hyper myelin or anything like that. Just driving completely normal, which I feel like is normal. But at the same time, I know there were some people probably going to be curious about the max trailering package with the 342s. So I wanted to mention it. So over the lifespan so far, 416.8 miles, 18.4 miles per gallon, 27.9 average miles per hour fuel range is low let's go ahead and uh fill this thing up see how much it costs how many gallons it's holding and uh see what it's saying that we should get on this next tank all right let's go ahead and fill her up thankfully just uh 87 here you ain't got to run the premium like in the trail boss which is nice all right let's see how much it costs i have not broke 100 with chomper 421 currently. Let's see how much it costs to fill her up. Well, we still haven't broken the 100, Please thankfully. We only held 21.1 gallons, $89. So I'm guessing the uh, little computer on the truck gives you quite a bit of wiggle room when it's telling you that it's low. So. That wasn't terrible. I mean, it is terrible, but yeah. I'd say we probably still had two, three gallons left in the truck. There's no way it's only a 21 gallon tank. The truck's got 416 miles divided by 21.19 gallons added equals 19.63. Now I did have eight miles on it when I picked it up. So maybe they filled it up at eight miles. So let's do 408 miles divided by 21.19 that comes out to 19.25 so a little bit better than the truck was saying all right that seems a lot more normal now 444 estimated miles until empty on this tank which we'll go ahead and reset yes trip number two sorry if that was blurry i wasn't paying attention so we'll get to compare this tank versus the first one which i'm about to go do tonight uh, some pretty good long distance driving so i would say that it's probably going to be improved quite a bit at least for the uh maybe first quarter first half of the tank on this all right guys we're caught behind this 18 wheeler but we've about wrapped up our trip so i figured i'd update y'all so we've currently hit 525 miles so we are officially broken in everyone should be happy now but um as you see we got 389 miles of range left and we have driven 109 miles since the last clip averaging 22.6 miles per gallon and 44.7 miles per hour over the last 50 miles we have averaged 24.6 miles per gallon let's go down to our little instant even though we're well, we're fixing to flat now we just went down a little hill so just barely on the gas cruising 29 30 miles per gallon so if we stick to our mindful driving habits with 388 miles left and driven uh, 110 miles reaching close to that 500 miles per tank mark which is freaking sick of course that's being very mindful i only passed one vehicle uh, that was just going incredibly too slow and I couldn't bear it so I had to romp on by them so aside from that I have been being very mindful of my fuel economy so I wanted to see what we could get to end this video off because I'm about to change the tires so <laughs> anyways uh, if you want a stock truck for life do a lot of 55 to 70 mile per hour cruising uh, 
dude, 25 miles per gallon, definitely do it. I'm impressed. This is with 342s. So with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. I'll see y'all in the next one.